why Allah cannot stand the sight of the awful name called the King of Kings. Despite of the conflicting views of these Shia and Sunni Muslims on Abu Huraira, I shall quote from him, and let both sects of Muslims, to decide who is the King of Kings, that even Allah cannot stand the most awful name of a man in his sight? Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith Volume 8, Book 73, Number 224 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Apostle said, the most awful name in Allah's sight on the day of resurrection, will be that of a man calling himself Malik al-Amlak the King of Kings. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith Volume 8, Book 73, Number 225 Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, the most awful name in Allah's sight. Safian said more than once, quote the most awful name in Allah's sight is that of a man calling himself King of Kings. Unquote Sarfian said, Somebody else i.e. other than Abu Ezzinad, a sub-narrator says, what is meant by the King of Kings is Shahan Shah. Unquote Shah or Shahan Shah means the King of Kings, was the title of Persian emperors or kings. It includes rulers of the first Persian Empire, the Achaemenid dynasty, who unified Persia and created a vast intercontinental empire. Even though the title King of Kings was used by Artaxerxes King of Persia and Nebuchadnezzar King of Babylon, it does not mean Lord Yeshua was imitating them rather he serves the same function of those earlier kings. The same principle applies to the words Elohim or Allah. Allah in Arabic is the name of Elah that is God. Muslims claim that Allah means the God. But Quran proves that Muslims are wrong, as each chapter begins in the name of Allah except for chapter 9. Ezra 7.12 Artaxerxes, King of Kings, unto Ezra the priest a scribe of the law of the Elohim of heaven, perfect peace, and at such a time. Ezekiel 26 7 For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will bring upon Tyrus Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, a king of kings, from the north, with horses, and with chariots, and with horsemen, and companies, and much people. Daniel 2 36-37 This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou. O king, art a king of kings, for the Elohim of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon was called king of kings but his kingdom was destroyed and replaced by Iraq today. All the kings of Persia also died and perished from the face of the earth. So the only king of kings, who is alive today is Yeshua Messiah. I shall quote from 1 Timothy 6 13-16 translated from Pshita. Bible by Dr. John Wesley Etheridge, which has been compared to 165 A.D. Cabo Risk Codex found in 1966 at Cabo River in the interior part of Iraq, used by Aramaic-speaking Christians. I attest thee before Aloha, who vivifieth all, and Yahshua Meshiha, who witnessed before Pontius Pilatos the good testimony, that thou keep this commandment without spot and without blemish, until the manifestation of our Lord Yahshua Meshiha whom in his time will show Aloha the blessed and only strong one, the King of kings, and Lord of lords, he who only is incorruptible and who dwelleth in light, which no man can approach, whom no man of man hath seen, nor is able to see, to him. Be honor and power forever and ever. Amen. Unquote Revelation 17 12-14 In the ten horns, which thou sawest are ten kings, the men, who kingdom not yet have received, but authority as kings one hour receive with the beast of prey. They have one will, and their power and their authority unto the beast of prey they will give. They with the Lamb will make war, and the Lamb will overcome them, for he is the Lord of lords, and the King of kings, and they who are with him are the called and the chosen and the faithful. Unquote Revelation 19 11-16 And I saw heaven opened. And behold a white horse, and he who sat upon him was called the faithful and the true and in righteousness he judges and makes war. But his eyes were as the flame of fire, and upon his head were many diadems, having names written, and the name which was written of him no man knows but himself. And he was arrayed in a vestment sprinkled with blood, and his name was called the word of Aloha. And the armies of heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in garments of fine linen, pure and white. And from his mouth went forth a sharp sword of two edges, that therewith he might smite the nations. And he will rule the nations with a rod of iron, and he will tread the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Aloha the Omnipotent.
and he had upon his vestment and upon his thigh the name written, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Unquote Yeshua is called the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Lucifer or Satan is merely a Lord. But Yeshua is the Lord of Lords. Narrated Abu Herrera, the Prophet said, the most awful name in Allah's sight. Safian said more than once, quote the most awful name in Allah's sight is that of a man calling himself King of Kings. Unquote I request Muslims to think deeply about the statement of Abu Harara quote the most awful name in Allah's sight is that of a man calling himself King of Kings. Unquote how could God tremble at the sight of a man called the King of Kings? As Allah cannot stand the sight of the awful name of a man called the King of Kings, then it is deduced that Allah is Exarchan to Lucifer, whom the Lord Yeshua had cast him out of heaven and came to the earth, as the God of this world. English Standard Version 2 Corinthians 4 3 to 4 quote and even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled only to those who are perishing. In their case the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers, to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Unquote now, Abu Herrera's narration of Muhammad was quoted by Sahih al-Bukhari and recorded as an authentic record. Muslims should not doubt that Allah is scared of the awful name of a man called Yeshua the Messiah. English Standard Version Mark 1 23-24 And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are the Holy One of God. Unquote Mark 1 25 But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. Unquote the demon or Satan knew, who was Yeshua the Messiah and called him the Holy One of Yahweh. The word holy means pure, without sin. Allah trembles at the sight of the Holy One of Yahweh, because he was a fallen archangel to Lucifer. There is no doubt about Allah is not the creator of the universe, since he trembles at the sight of the awful name called the King of Kings who is Yeshua. Quran 381 commands you to use the old scriptures of the prophets, to judge the new messenger in his new book. God did not advise anyone to use the new book, for judging the scriptures of the old prophets. Where is the logic to use the new book, to judge the old scriptures of the Christians and Jews? The common logic is that the older scriptures shall judge the new book. The Holy Bible shall judge the accuracy in the Quran and not vice versa. Amen.